What are you doing? Clearing out the rig. Why? Because uh, I'm resetting. Mm, okay. And, uh, are we videoing, are we? Yes, we are. I'm clearing out the whole rig because I'm resetting. Okay. Which means that we're gonna I'm gonna take everything out, not like the furniture and the oven and stuff, but I'm taking everything out. Uh, for two reasons. One is because I want to tidy everything up. We've never really done it properly, so I want to tidy everything up. And the other thing is we're completely overrun with stink bugs in there. Yes. There's we are. dead ones, there's alive ones, and it's driving me insane. So I'm gonna pull everything out and we're gonna give it a proper clean. Fair enough. Um, but that's not what I wanted to video this week. Okay, what are we doing this week? Well this week I figured we would answer the number one question that everyone keeps asking us. Why am I so attractive? <laughs> okay, second most popular question. <laughs> second. Is this really our most popular question? Yes. Or did you just make this up? No, it is. Oh, okay. Alright, I don't know what it is. So shall we... Uh, let's roll the intro and then you can tell me what it is. Okay. Okay, see you in a minute. It really makes me wonder. Yeah, it makes me wonder. Oh, I wonder. Oh, I just wonder. So Natalie just told me what our number one asked question is. Don't believe you, but do you want to tell everyone what it is? What you think it is? It is. How do we contain the dogs on the outside of the rig? Well, they ask in many different ways because a lot of people are like, hey, what's your dog fence or something? Mm, some people ask if it's tie outs better or fencing's better. It, honestly, we get asked this a lot. Right. You know, but usually, what type of fence do we have is our biggest question because they see it in the videos and then they just ask us what fence we have it is on our website under the stuff we use but today i want to go over why we use it yeah so uh and honestly when natalie first bought this we will show you in a minute hold on hold on when natalie first bought this i was so mad because it wasn't expensive for what it is but it was more to be honest i'd spent all of our money on other stuff mm -hmm. uh, and so this is one thing natalie bought and i have to say it is amazing and we would not live without it so mm. Right, let's get on. I can't believe you're gonna make me open all this up and, and do all this stuff just for this. But, okay, give us a sec and then we'll show you what we're talking about. Should we talk about the Mo Ride? Is it Mo Ride? More Ride? More Ride? I don't know. Hey man, you want some Mo Ride? <laughs> we also think these More Ride steps are great. <laughs> That's gonna be your input. We did get the More Ride steps. Well, there's a lie. Actually, Jesse got the More Ride steps. Correct. Um, we added some rug covers uh, for Roxy to stop her slipping on the aluminium steps. Aluminium. <laughs> aluminium. Okay, so, right, fence. So often when you Google or go on Amazon search whether for a dog fence or pen, this is the one that you will typically see. This one is already joined together and you can make it in any sort of shapes and stuff you want. And sometimes I see people camping and they'll go and put their dog out, you know, in the pen or whatever. It's not easy to clip together. It's kind of flimsy and it's not the prettiest, if I'm honest. The reason that we upgraded to the pen that I'm gonna show you is because one, you can dig the stakes into the grass and for, I would say 80% of the campsites we went to were, were grass-based. Um, it looks good <laughs> and also it was really convenient to pack in the back of the car which we'll also show you. So this is the 30 inch height which is absolutely perfect for anything from our Dobermans to the min pins which we have obviously one of each. Um, the other great thing about this is it fits perfectly behind our Mo Ride steps. Is it Mo Ride? Is that right? No, it's More Ride isn't it? I'm going to keep getting that wrong. Design, Say that again. Uh, okay. Yeah. More Ride, yeah? Okay. More ride, not more ride. More ride. <laughs> <laughs> this is the 30 inch height, which works perfectly for our Adobe's and for the min pin. Um, and the other great thing is it fits perfectly between behind the more ride steps. I keep getting that wrong. <laughs> so I will show you. There is just an inch gap behind. 
Now one thing I will say at this point, obviously it depends on where you are on the level of the trailer, but in most cases we've never had, we've never had an issue with the steps being too low. So if the front was dropped down right now, we'd probably have an issue with getting that in there. But actually uh, we've never had an issue um, and it fits perfectly right underneath the step. So yeah. that's kind of cool. Well, and the other good thing is you can get these in different sizes. So if your rig is a lot lower than ours and you only need like a, I don't know, 28 inch or 20 inch, you can buy a set, I think they come in 8s and 16s, buy a set of the lower ones to go underneath the rig and then the higher ones for the rest of the rig. One of the main reasons for this is in the morning, instead of having to come outside and take the dog for a walk to go for a pee, uh, we could just open this door and just let them out and yes. they were straight in the pen. So that's really what we're solving for here. But obviously to do that, jacks would be able to fit between the steps here. So in order to do that, we had to make sure that behind the steps were secure so that jacks couldn't get out or other dogs couldn't get in. And fun story, we did try using a tie out once for Opie. Don't just zoom in on me, that's creepy. <laughs> and um, he ended up snapping the long line then we attached it to the handle and he saw a deer and he took off so you know although don't get me wrong i'm sure if he really wanted to jump this fence he might be able to but he's never attempted to and it seems to contain them pretty well so we have a fun little saying when we're setting up our fence laces out if anyone's watched the uh, ace ventura they know what we're talking about and it means to always have the bars on the outside of the fence for every single one so that we know how to connect them properly and it also means, and I have to get the fence panel, no, the gate to show you, but that means the latch is on the outside, so you're not constantly, I can't think of the word. Cut. <laughs> So I can I start, Lawrence, because I can't remember how I cut it. Natalie said, you're not allowed to be in this video uh, because it's a dog stuff and that's what I do. So, uh... Shut up. You have as many cuts. You just swear a lot and go quiet. <laughs> Get on with it. Okay. Here you go. <laughs> And the reason I said earlier that I like this one is because you can push this into the grass or sand, wherever you're staying. So it just gives you that extra stability that it's locked in place, so to speak. So we actually bought two packs of 16 and each pack comes with its own gate. And this is why I was talking about the laces out is because then the latch is on the outside and you can easily access in and out. That doesn't make any sense. Does it? <laughs> Done! <laughs> So depending on how long we're staying at a place or to be honest how lazy we want to be uh, we might only set up one pack of these which is 16 panels and this is 16 panels uh, it works perfectly uh, the dogs can run out and pee we can also generally have a picnic bench in here as well um, so that works really well um, if we're staying somewhere a lot longer maybe a week or two weeks then we'll set up all um, 32 panels we'd have a gate at the back and a gate here so that we can get to the truck that's it it took takes about what would you say natalie on average what 15 minutes to set up yeah yeah and that's if it's difficult if it's dead flat it's really easy if there's a slight you know uh lump or something it might take a bit longer but yeah it's like 15 minutes to set up maybe 10 minutes to, to pull down um and actually we should probably mention where we carry this natalie that is a good idea so i have cleared out the back of my truck part of my reset and but however underneath that cover we can fit 31 panels i say that because one panel doesn't fit and we normally put the one panel in the rv which is normally the gate um, but normally i have i'll try and overlay a clip of when we we're actually out on the road i had this set up i had a system set up where i uh, had wood to split everything so i had different sections of the truck um, of the truck bed so I'd have the generator on one side I'd have our gas on the other side I'd have connectors on one side and then right in the middle here would be the fencing we used it all the time every single time so it was for front and forefront front and center front front and center of the truck so as soon as we turned up even when the dogs were in the truck we would uh, 
set up the rig, get it all level, pull the fence out, then we'd let the dogs out of the truck into the rig. Um, that's about it really. If you have any other questions, let us know. We will link to uh, the fence that we bought, um, if not one that's very similar that we would recommend. We're actually looking at replacing this one just because it's a bit um, worn. Uh, doesn't quite look as nice so we're probably gonna buy another one um, but yeah if you have any questions please let us know don't forget to like subscribe hit the bell button and we will see you next week this is meant to be Natalie's video why am I doing this this is meant to be your video why am I doing this because I have to do all the packing up because you're not gonna do that bit but I normally do the packing up, the setting up, the videoing, the planning, Absolute the talk Absolute lie. Track. Absolute lie. I bet all the videos of the fence setting up are me. <laughs> Just shut up. <laughs>